Hi, for this video, we are going to be talking about static methods. Static methods in Java are methods that they're actions, they define actions that the class can take instead of that a specific object of the class takes. So a classic example of static methods are the math methods public, static, double, sqrt, double x, in math, right? That just returns the square root of a number. So you can say double a equals math, dot sqrt of 16, and then a will take on the value 4.0. Notice that it's here, the class. Not an object that's taken the action. So that's pretty obvious in a class like math, what's going to happen there. Let's look at this class up here we have. We have fraction. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to undo that. So we have the class fraction. And that class has some instance variables here. Every fraction has a numerator and denominator. They're private instance variables. So we can say things like, Fraction A equals new fraction 3 4. And that'll create the fraction 3 fourths. It assigns numerator value 3 and denominator value 4. You can see that right down here in the constructor. And notice this isn't a static method, but a static variable here. But we have this static variable here. Private, ooh, that should be static, not, that should be static and not stating. Spell checker. This is what you get for writing it in, in a word processor and not a, and not in a coding environment. So that should be static int num created. That is a static variable because it's something, it's keeping track of how many total fra fractions get created, how many times the fraction constructor here gets called and it gets incremented. But that's not a static method. So we'll go through here and I'm gonna rewrite that just to make it clear. That that's static instead of stating. Now for static methods, a static method is one that, like here, we might, in the fraction class, you might have like a method um, decimal value. So you'd say a dot decimal value. A fraction object, a, takes the action, a dot decimal value. But you could have static methods that you'd use in the class that are not methods of any one class. So for example, if we were trying to simplify a fraction, you might have a static method, greatest common factor, that just takes two, that takes two integers and returns the greatest common factor. It doesn't have access to any particular fraction, but you might write that to help you write a simplify method. Or get total num created would be a static method that would return the value of the num created to let you know how many total fractions have been created. So let's uh, let's look at this here. 
if we're going to write a static method for, or let's say, let's go back and make this more clear. We're going to try writing a simplify method. Public void simplify. That method would be void because it's not returning anything. You just call it on a fraction. You would say like a dot simplify. And that would convert a to simplest form. So simplifying a fraction is actually pretty easy, right? You just divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator. If you're going to simplify 15 twentieths, GCF is 5, so you get 3 fourths. If you're going to have 12 48, the greatest common factor is 12, so you have 1 fourth. So you just need to find the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator and divide both the numerator and denominator by the GCF. So you could say int common equals GCF. And notice this fraction, or this method, simplify. It has access to numerator and denominator, the instance variables up here, because this is a is a class method. You would you call one specific fraction, and it will simplify itself, so it knows what its numerator and denominator are. You take numerator, divide equals common, so you divide the numerator by common. Let's actually write this out. Let's say numerator equals numerator divided by common and denominator equals denominator divided by common. And this is all you'd have to write if you had a GCF method like this, greatest common factor. Well, here's a GCF method. Notice that it's static and not spelled stating. So that means it does not have access to any instance variables. Right? So it doesn't have access to the numerator and denominator of any given fraction, but it does have parameters. So you can pass arguments to those parameters. You can pass 12 and 15 to A and B and you'll, and then they have a value, and then this static method will work, will operate on those, right? N will equal 12, it's not less than 12, 15 is not less than 12, so it's 12, and it'll keep counting down until N gets to 3, and then 3 is a factor of both of those here, so we will return 3. So, that's a static method. It's a method that you call, the class takes it. We don't have to give every fraction its own copy of the greatest common factor method. It doesn't, it's not going to do that on its own. Just one greatest common factor method that is part of the class. Here's another example of a static method that you might use. Get total num created. This just gives you access to the to the instance variable not instance variable, sorry, the static variable 
not an instance variable. It gives you access to the static variable, total num created. So notice is something important. If you had fraction A equals new fraction three comma four and fraction B equals new fraction two comma five and fraction, let's say there was an add method, C equals A dot add B, where the add method takes fraction A and fraction A adds itself to fraction B and returns a new fraction that's the sum of those two, right? I can't say print line a dot get total num created because that's not the syntax right a is an object that's a static method you can't call a static method for a single object similarly I can't just say get system dot print line get total num created because I'm not inside the class, right? If you look back here, for simplify, I can just call GCF because we're inside the fraction class. Even though it's not one specific fraction, we're inside the fraction class, so I just call that method. Here, I can't, right? This also, this one and this one don't work. In order to call this, it's the class taking the action. So I say fraction dot get total num created. Because it's the fraction class that's taking that action. So it's the class that calls static methods. So just to review there, the class calls static methods. Non-static methods are called by the objects. And static methods do not have access to any instance variables. Static methods cannot access the instance variables of the class. They can only access static methods and they can access any parameters that they have that are passed to them, any arguments passed to those parameters. But they can't access any instance variables. Thank you very much.